Because everybody needs food for thought. You know, everybody needs food for thought. They still expect to do their homework. They still expect it to, um, you know, be students and learn. And in order to maintain your focus, you need something to eat. Well, with everything that's going on right now in the city of Seattle, um, with the pandemic and a lot of people, you know, lost their jobs. May not be receiving unemployment to help feed their children for weeks, maybe even a month or so. And so it's really important that these meals are provided for the children because it's their only source of nutrition on a consistent basis. The other backslide of it is the food banks. A lot of the food banks haven't been operating properly since the pandemic. And so it's like a double whammy. So it's really, really important. Us as a support system for the school district, we're now become a support system for the city. And for us just to have the opportunity to provide meals for students and families or anyone who needs one at this time means a lot, especially to our employees, because even though it's not their kids at these schools, they they call them their babies and they always want to make sure their babies are taken care of and their families are taken care of. So it means a lot to our workers and they really putting a lot out there. And I couldn't be more proud as a as a director, as a boss of, of what they're accomplishing right now. Every day, over 80% of our staff is, is working. Um, and, you know, they had to overcome their own fears. And they said that this was important to them. And they wanted to make sure that, again, they always call them their babies, make sure their babies was taken care of. And um, it's it just, it, it, as, as much as I believe and hope that this means to the families that we are serving, it means much more to the people who serve them. It's been, it's been busy, um, just like a typical school day for us. Uh, we have 26 meal distribution sites open, um, over 40 buses running throughout the city. Uh, our central kitchen is producing about 12,000 meals a day right now. Um, and over the next few weeks, we, we're expecting that number to increase. Not just, you know, one type of meal, but we have six or seven different types of meals. And we're now implementing meals that people could take home and heat up so they could have a hot option. Um, and we have some school sites that serving hot lunch in with what's coming out of the central kitchen. So, um, the way we went about implementing all this was we started off slow. We've just been building on top of it instead of um, rushing to put something out and then having to cut back. It's a large city and I am continuously learning how big the city is and the certain pockets that's hard to reach. And as we learn of these certain areas and families who need it and who's unable to make it to sites, um, we're adding more options for them. So we started off with just nine buses. And now we're up to almost 40. Um, there's students at home with, with uh, disabilities and they're unable to make the site. So uh, we're working with Amazon right now on doing home deliveries where we could drop off a week box, a box uh, with one week worth of, worth of meals for those kids. And so as we continuously learn um, that, you know, this area is tough to get to or we have a student in need over here, we are going to do our best to make sure we get something to them.